first, who could forget this infamous crack that forced uh, Lakeshore Drive to shut down? It's back open now. Morning Insider Lauren Victory shows us how it happened so quickly and the work that still needs to be done. You have a CA6 subgrade. His explanation uh, may be complex. 12-inch crane mat and the shoring But the gravity of Sean Lewis's work was simple to understand. Uh, this was a level 10 emergency, yeah. He and his company, FH Passion, rushed to Lakeshore Drive in Randolph last week after a crack emerged under the bridge. We knew the structure was unstable at that point. We knew the road needed to be shut down and we knew we needed to act quickly. Crews didn't have to cut through red tape to get right to work. FH Passion and its affiliates have held more than a billion and a half dollars worth of contracts with the city over the years. Yeah, so here's where we, we experienced the, the beam failure. Within 30 hours, huge shoring towers supported that problem spot. And we had But during our interview, we noticed the same sort of equipment in at least four other areas. Are there even more issues under Lakeshore Drive? Um, I can't comment on that. So we came back another day with our own outside expert. These are the expansion joints with the problem. As you can see, they civil engineering professor Dita Mosevin says this extra gear is very purposely set up. Probably they noticed the problem on those five um, expansion joints. And so they took the stress from those joints. My research is actually finding if there's crack. Her quick assessment? I see a lot of corrosion product on the surface. In order to do an uh, actual inspection, they need to re remove all the corrosion product on the surface. So they would scrape that away? Yes, they have to. Otherwise, most of the cracks are not seen on the surface. So there could be a crack under there. There could be. More cracks? So basically, it just she says she's also concerned about debris falling pointing out steel bars exposed from eroding concrete. Those two. Lewis says he takes orders from Chicago's Department of Transportation, calling some of last week's work precautionary. Lauren Victory, CBS2 News. Chicago's Department of Transportation tells us it found corrosion but no additional cracks. Regarding the necessary permanent repairs, steel has already been ordered and shipment should start arriving next week.